Welcome to day three and welcome to my science lab. I have a super fun science experiment for you today that plays with light. We've been talking a lot about discovering our passions, which are the things that really light you up. So I thought it would be fun to look at all the properties of light, all the wavelengths and frequencies and color that make it up. So we'll do that by making a spectroscope. Can you say that fancy science word with me? Spectroscope. Spectroscope. Awesome. Does that sound fun for you? Give me a thumbs up. Cool. Okay, so number one rule anytime we are playing with science is safety. Okay, so this project requires some sharp tools. So you might want to get a big person to help you when you gather your supplies, gather some big person to help you as well. I have my hair tied up so it's out of my face and I'm gonna put my glasses on just to protect my eyes in case, okay? So number one rule of science, safety. Always be safe. Deal? Promise? Pinky promise? Cool. Okay, so what is a spectroscope? Do you know what a spectroscope is? A spectroscope is a tool that separates light into all its different wavelengths or colors so you can see a visual representation of the light, which is called a spectrogram. A spectrogram is essentially a picture of all the cool things about any specific type of light source. It might be a light in your room or up in the sky during the day or at night, okay? So you will have a tool, the spectroscope, and you can create a spectrogram for any type of light you wanna study. Does that sound fun? Okay, cool. So scientists use spectroscopes to create spectrograms for specific types of light that they want to study. It allows them to separate the light again into those frequencies. They can study the frequency, the intensity, the atomic makeup, and learn lots about whatever it is. For example, astronomers who are scientists who are really passionate about studying the stars can use a spectroscope to create a spectrogram of a specific star in the sky. Awesome, right? The first spectroscope was created by Henry Draper, who was an astronomer, so he's super passionate about studying the stars, way back in the 1800s. You can make your own spectroscope using just some simple materials that you probably have at your house. Okay, so let's talk about what we need. We'll need a paper towel tube. You could use a toilet paper tube also. Some white paper. The stickers are optional. Some tape. Again, those sharp tools that we're gonna be really careful with, right? And then a CD or DVD. So one of these round things that looks like you can already see what it's doing with the light. Can you see that? You need one of those, okay? So pause me for a second and go grab a big person to help you with the sharp tools and go grab all of your supplies and meet me back in my science lab, deal? Cool. Okay, got your supplies? Roll up your sleeves, get ready for some safe science. I have my computer here because scientists always have a scientific procedure. That's their plan for what they're working on. So you'll see me referencing it as I guide you through it with me. Sound good? Okay, so grab your tube, a white piece of paper, and I'm gonna put mine this way because it's about the same length, you see that? So I'm gonna wrap it and as you go, you can get your tape and you can start just gently securing your paper to your tube. And keep rolling and rolling. I kind of taped it on the, the first edge of the paper and now I'm gonna tape the other edge of the paper. Okay, so you have something that looks like this. Now, if you have your stickers, grab your stickers and go ahead and put a few. I have stars because I, because I thought that would make Henry Draper super happy and I really love stars too, so I'm passionate about the stars. I like to study astronomy. So I have rainbow color stars. I'm just gonna put some on my spectroscope because I know it's gonna show me the rainbow colors that make up light. So take your time, pause me if you need to, and keep putting stars on your spectroscope if you want. You could also grab markers or crayons and color on it. Okay, I have one star for each of the colors of the rainbow on here. So I'm gonna leave it just like this and move on to our next step, which is where you're gonna need something sharp. So have your big person there to help you. Okay, so you're gonna take your sharp tool, be very careful with it, 
you're going to create a slit that's at about 45 degrees. So like that's about a 45 degree angle. And you're gonna draw kind of like a loop about half of your tube, okay? So I'm gonna very carefully poke a hole here. Remember, have your big person help. And draw my 45 degree angle slit. This is why you need a big person. Okay, that should be good. Oops, I need a little bit more. There we go. Ta-da! Now, directly across from your slit, so on the other side, on the other side of it, you're gonna cut a hole, okay? A peephole, so it can be like a little rectangle. Let me make sure it's directly across. Again, this is a job for your big person. why it's important for scientists to be safe, right? Okay, so I cut out a peephole, you see that? All right, so that's what I'm gonna look into. Okay, see my peephole? Now, if you had a sharp tool, make sure you put the blade back in. We're always being safe, right? So next step, another piece of white paper and get a visual for what the circumference of your tube is. Circumference is the distance all the way around it, okay? So get a visual for that and then use your scissors or have a big person help you to cut that out. You could also trace it if you want, but I kind of just like to eyeball it, which means guesstimate, make it hypothesis and cut it. So, about like that, okay? Okay, so you have your circle, grab some tape. Get a pretty big piece, because you're gonna tape this on the top, so the part away from your peephole that you cut, okay? So tape this on the top. I'm just gonna set it down and put a piece of tape across like this. Does not have to be perfect. Science is not perfect. We just try lots of things and experiment and see what works, right? So I'm gonna put another one. I'm gonna put a couple more just to make sure that it stays. Okay, that looks pretty secure. You got yours secure? I'm already loving this. Next step, get your sharp tool again and cut a slit in the top. Okay, just a slit. Okay. That's where the light's gonna come in. Secure your blade if you had that sharp tool and we'll move on to the next step, you ready? Okay, cool. So you're gonna take your CD or DVD, whatever it is, and see how this sh side is showing the light? Can you see it playing with the light already? You're gonna put that into your slit. So the slit you just drew is on the top. The slit we cut before is on the bottom. Should be at that 45 degree angle. You're gonna put that in there with the colored side that's reflecting the light facing up, okay? And there you have it, you have a spectroscope. So make sure this fits in here snug. You may have to adjust a little bit, like I think I'm gonna cut my line a little bit more. Scientists, we gotta adjust things often, okay? I think I'm gonna cut my line a little bit further so it sits in there a little deeper. That looks better. And now I'm gonna take it Put it back in, see how that looks. And I can look through. Now you have your spectroscopes. So how does it work? The surface of the CD diffracts the light. Can you say that science word diffracts? Diffracts. So that just means it separates it into all of its different colors. Then because the CD also is a mirror, it reflects it back into your eyes. Okay, so then you can see it. And that's the spectrogram that you've made. 
So now that you've made your spectroscope, you can go out and compare the wavelengths of different types of light in your room, outside. If you do go out and look at the sun, make sure not to point your slit directly at the sun to protect your eyes. It's important to protect your eyes, okay? Sound good? Awesome. Now that you have your spectroscope, you can explore what lights light up, and I hope you remember to explore what lights you up too. Okay, I will see you next time. Join us for day four. Bye.